What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today reporting on some iOS news. We all know the most popular game on iOS, the one my kids are playing on their iPhones, the one my daughters are playing on the iPad is Super Mario Run. Very popular game, made tons of money, and it was the highest grossing app until very, very recently. I'll drop a link in the description. Nintendo's Super Mario Run, not the highest grossing app anymore. Well, it had a good run at the top. Several days after Super Mario Run posted a record-breaking performance at the top of the App Store, it has sustained a precipitous drop in terms of interest and engagement. It has been toppled from the number one highest grossing app spot, and while it still ranks as the top most downloaded free app for many countries, users from other locations seem to have moved on. Consider the numbers. At its peak, Super Mario Run dominated the rankings in 138 countries. It is only hanging on to its perch in 88 by Christmas. Super Mario Run Pricing Controversy The consensus appears to blame Nintendo's decision to unlock the full game only if players pay $9.99. Certainly one can download it for free, but the levels from the fourth onward are locked unless you pay for them. Unhappy users are taken to using the review mechanism at the App Store to vent their ire. One user said, quote, It was fun, but offering only three levels before hitting a paywall just seems plain greedy and stingy and feels wrong, end quote. The offshoot is that Super Mario Run has earned a measly 2.5 out of the 5 rating despite its editor's choice classification. Some observers point out that Nintendo could have just opted for the free model, offering in-game purchases if it really wanted to turn a profit. Further decline. It is worth noting that the waning user interest in Super Mario Run has already been preceded by a decline in Nintendo's market value. Investors must have noted the level of vitriol the game has received once players realized the payment scheme. Scrambling to rectify the situation, Nintendo has released a survey several days ago trying to gauge the amount of money that users are willing to pay in order to unlock the full game. While Nintendo is not likely to share the results of its survey, there is another research that could shed more light into this area. According to Utopia, 1-2% to of the current user's base is willing to pay what Nintendo is asking for. That percentage spikes to around 4% if the price is slashed to $2. Aptopia's report also included an earnings estimate. In the original price, Nintendo stands to earn around $30 million, whereas it could take home $50 million if it settles for the $2 price tag. Aptopia's Adam Blacker told International Business Times, quote, Right now, Nintendo is converting between 1-4% to every day, but they could be converting up to 10% with a lower price point of $1.99, end quote. If Nintendo is indeed amenable to a price cut, it should act fast. It could wake up one day finding that Super Mario Run has suffered the same fate as its other titles, which have faded after a stellar showing at launch. Nintendo, Nintendo, you need to listen. Ten Look, my kids played the first three levels of Super Mario Run. My son's got iPhones for Christmas, so they're all over it, super excited, played it. As soon as they hit the third level, they were like, that's it, now I gotta pay for the game. And they got Christmas money, they could have bought the game, but they opted out of not buying it and just went back to the app store and started downloading free games. That's what people are gonna do. Nintendo, you can't be greedy. You're known for making all these kind of boneheaded mistakes. You got a great game like Super Mario Run, you need to remove that paywall now. I'm just being honest. Remove it now, make the game free to play, give people cosmetic things that they can buy as DLC. You should give people the option of buying new levels if that's something that they want. But the mobile strategy that really works is a free to play strategy with great DLC and, and optional buy-ins that give people the option to buy what they want, you know, extra stuff for the game. You don't want to give people just enough to make them like the game and say, here, now give me $10 because it doesn't look like it's going to end up good for you. I think if it continues like this, Super Mario Run will be a memory in another two months. And I hope that doesn't happen because from all accounts, it's a very fun game. People really, really like it. I haven't even tried it and I got an iPad, but from the people I've talked to and my friends who play it, they really, really like it. Uh, so hopefully Nintendo does the right thing here and figures out that you can't just muscle your way into the mobile market and say, here, give me $10 for this game. People are so used to getting games for free, it can really come around and bite Nintendo in the ass with this greed. They need to ease into the mobile market and they need to be very approachable. They don't want to be standoffish and make people think that they're coming in to change the way that the mobile market has worked. The mobile market is built on free shit. So Nintendo will start giving stuff away for free and add purchasable content that people might want to actually improve the game and improve the experience. You don't want to give people a game like Super Mario Run and say, do you like it? You do? 
All right, give me 10 bucks. <laughs> I think it'll fail. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, Super Mario Run, not the highest grossing app on the App Store anymore. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go. Let it go.